Well, just your thoughts on the game tonight. Yeah, I feel like, you know, last night in the first period, you know, we didn't have the best start. So tonight we were really harping on our boys to get that strong start, and we did. And um, made it 2-0, I think, after the first or second, and then just took off from there. So, I mean, the, all, every line played good tonight, every defenseman, and, you know, Hobie stepping in this weekend, so big. What were, you, you guys, I think, lost one regulation game at home this entire season. Why do you think you guys had the success here? I mean, it's just the Ralph. The Ralph is amazing. I mean, I if I could pick one rink to play in the rest of my life, I'd want to play here. And, um, yeah, like you said, we just had that extra motivation, I feel like, playing at home this year. I don't know what it was. Um, but, yeah, we, we dominated at home all year. So, What is it like here when you guys start playing like you guys did tonight and, you know, last night too and, you know, get the ball rolling mm -hmm. in games? For sure. It's exciting. I mean, you know, if we play like that, we'll be hard to stop down the stretch. Um, obviously, I don't, I'm not sure who we play next weekend yet, but um, if we play like that, I'm sure we'll, we'll be successful. Hopefully, we got to get in a good week of practice here and then get rolling. This might be Gaber's last game in the building, and he got another one. Just uh, thoughts on him uh, scoring again and getting you guys started tonight? For sure. I mean, he knew coming in it probably is his last game here, um, sadly. But, yeah, t for him to get that one, first goal of the game to get us going is so huge and you know that's just what he does he's done that the last four years here so what are your thoughts on going to St. Paul so excited you know a mini boy playing in the tourney there and stuff like that it's it's awesome and you know last year obviously playing St. Cloud didn't get the result um, but I'm pretty confident this year that you know if we play like we did like you said these last two games um, we can be successful down there uh, you're playing with Jackson Koontz on that line. What do you see out of his game, you know, uh, down the stretch here? He's so big. I mean, obviously, um, Owen's very skilled, so we need that kind of staple guy on our line who, who can grind down low, and Koontz, he does a heck of a job. He knows his role. He plays it so well, um, even on the power play, too, and that front just so big, that golden knight. I think it went off his groin or something, he said, and, you know, that's just what he does, and we know what to expect from him, and, um, we're super grateful to have Kunze on our line. When you're shooting on the power play, do, do you look up and see if he's got that screen set? Or how, how, what's, what are you doing as a shooter? Yeah, I, I kind of wait to, to get over that midline so I can try to go cross, uh, cross ice top left or something. And Kunze does an amazing job, I said it before, just staying in the eyes, tracking the goalie's eyes. And yeah, like you said, I, I wait to see until he's fully in his eyes. But yeah, he's, he's pretty much always there. He's so big, so. Uh, after the weekend in Omaha, a tough weekend last weekend, how big was it to get ro things back together and rolling again? It's coming, you know, now's the time of the year to get on the roll with the playoffs coming. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, didn't get the result we wanted in Omaha. I think on Saturday night we actually played better than the, the score showed. Um, but we were itching to play all week long. You know, it, it sucks getting swept. I said this when we got swept against CC, you know, and then we played Duluth and swept them. But, yeah, you're just itching to play all week after getting swept in. And like Shalas said, you know, we played two really good games, and that's exciting to see for our group.